right, everybody. So here we go. Now what I'm gonna do right now is take off there and just go around and glaze out every imperfection I can find, get it all ready for finish sanding for the 545. So I'm just gonna time lapse this process and I'll jump in with y'all on the next step. Alright everybody, so I got all the spot glazing with all fair done, and now I'm just going to go around and sand with 120 grit. So, there's really not much to explain or show on this step, I'm just prepping it for another coat of primer, and once I get into the finished priming in the 545, I'll jump in and explain it a little bit more in detail. So, I'm going to time lapse this, get it sanded, let's get it done. Alright everybody, I got all the 120 sanding done, it looks good, and now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the boat out the building and just rinse the deck off and do a wash scrub on the hull just to get a good look at what she's going to look like wet, even though it's just going to get primed again, but should anything jump out where I did my glass work, this is where I'll see it and this is where I'll have the opportunity to go back and do some heavy duty fixing before doing the finish primer. So. I'm gonna wheel this thing outside and wash it and I'll get back with y'all afterwards. All right, everybody, I got her quick rinse, and now I'm gonna go around and scrub the hull with the scotch Brite and water. I'm gonna go left to right, and this is gonna allow me to feel any imperfections, divots, dimples, whatever, that I might not have seen, and I'll come to the determination whether or not I'm gonna fix those afterwards, but I wanna see it nice and shiny, see how the glass work looks, and we'll take it from there. So time lapse it, wash it, here we go. satisfied with it I think I'm gonna let it slide so this is kind of what you can expect to see when she's wet and the great thing about it is I get to prime it again so it's just gonna keep looking better and better so I'm gonna let her dry clean up inside the building get her back in the building and I'll jump in with y'all when it's taping and masking and I'm going to try to, to show you all the best way I can to set up the 3M Mackie spray for shooting 545 finish primer. So I'll see you all in a little bit. All right, everybody. Time to tape and mask off. 
and get her 545. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the tape and plastic real quick, time lapse status, and uh, I'll jump in with y'all when it's time to start mixing up primer and getting the gun set up. So here we go. All right, everybody, time to mix up the primer. So here we've got all groups, 545 epoxy finishing primer. This is a one-to-one -one mix ratio with up to 25% reducer. Now you wanna let the basin converter induct for 15 minutes before thinning. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this mixing process and then we're gonna get into solvent wiping. So here we go. All right, so while the, the primer chemicals are shaking hands and ducting for 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and solvent wipe the hull. And as always, I'm using good old denatured alcohol. Now, I know I've covered this in many of my previous videos, but this is a pretty critical step. So when solvent wiping, you wanna fold your rag, get it into like a nice poof ball, and you know, you wipe one section at a time and then unfold your rag, refold it, get a fresh clean side, and then, you know, solvent wipe the, the next section. So just to show y'all what I'm talking about. So I got the rag and it's always good to go left to right. It's not as critical during the priming stage, but when your solvent cleaning for your top coat, never go in circles or up and down, always go left to right. So I just wiped that one section. You can see the contaminants on the rag. Now you just unfold it, refold it, get you a fresh side and move on. So if you do that all the way around the boat, your hole will be nice and clean. There's no contaminants in there and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this paints, primers, and ducting, and uh, yeah, I'll jump in with y'all and try to show y'all how I set the 3M Mackie spray up, and, and we'll get this done. All right, everybody, setting up the 3M Mackie spray. Now, I'm going to try to do this the best I can with y'all on video, so... I have the newer version of the 3M Mackie Spray. I know it looks like a mess, but I use it all the time. And I have my 2.0 cap. Now, I used this one last time when I primed, and she's really clean on the inside, and I like to reuse these when I can. So to set the cap up, you squeeze the trigger and push that in as far as you can. Once it's in there, you turn that and lock it, and now she's, she's good to go. So, that's just getting the cap set up. And now we have our cup that we put our primer paint in. So if you're spraying non-skid or barrier coat or high build primer, I recommend you pull this screen out. If you're spraying non-skid, you have to pull this screen out for the particles to flow through. So I've made the mistake in the past and forgot to pull the screen out and was spraying non-skid, got extremely frustrated and then I realized I forgot to pull the screen out. But anyhow, that's for if you're doing non-skid or other heavy products. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my cup up with my 545. <clears throat> Put my lid on there, lock her in place. Now the gun attachment, you just Squeeze it on top and turn it until she locks in. So it's just like that. Now, when you first start out with the 3M Accu Spray and you got your paint hooked up, you want to keep your gun upside down and squeeze 
until the bag sucks and product starts flying out. Once that happens, then you've all of a sudden achieved pressure fed, gravity fed, suction fed, all the above. You can turn the gun any which way you want and shoot at any angle. So now the best way I got to put my respirator on. I hope y'all can hear this. So the best way I can try to explain how to get this set up is go ahead and just close everything. Close your fan, close your paint flow, and you can even close your air. So squeeze nothing. Now when I'm running the AccuSpray, I like to keep it at a steady 25 PSI with the trigger squeeze. Now when you start squeezing to let product flow, it'll drop down to 20 and never go below that. That's the pressure I like to spray at. Now, let's go ahead and get it going. I'm gonna open up my paint flow. Now she's shooting at a jet. Now I'm gonna open up my fan. I kind of like it right there. I guess I did about a half turn on the fan and a full turn and a half on the paint flow. Cut the air back a little bit. Now, when you're priming or painting, you want to get in the habit of keeping your air flowing the whole time. So, product, nothing. Product, nothing. And when you do that, it keeps it all atomized and you don't get blotches shot out on your hull or whatnot. So let me go ahead and move you over here, kind of show you what we're looking for. Generally, you don't want to just jump straight to the hull. You want to shoot plastic, a pan, a panel, or something to make sure everything's flowing the way you want it. So, I like the way that's going. So, it's just going to be like this. Now it's hard to see the gray on the gray, but that's just what it is. When I get to shooting the jet black, I'll show you a little bit better. So now when you're priming, it's okay if you get a run, but you want to try not to get runs because if you're priming and you get runs, you're definitely going to get runs when you're shooting your top coat. That stuff is like water compared to this. So if you can prime a whole boat, car, truck, whatever, and not get any runs, you're that less likely to get a run when you're shooting your top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and put three or four coats of this 545 on here, and then I'll do a walk around with y'all afterwards. So I'm not sure if that little explanation helped or not, but maybe in the future I'll get into a more detailed version with a brand new setup and try to show y'all again how I do it. So anyhow, let's get this thing primed. All right guys, ready for coat number two now. A lot of people ask me, how do I know when it's time to apply the second coat? Now, whether it's paint or primer, you stick your thumb on the tape, one, two, nothing came off. You ready for the next coat? Let's get it done.
All right, everybody, that's a wrap. I'm only going to do three coats. It looks good. There's plenty of product on the boat for me to work with, and, well, I'm satisfied with it. So I'll just take you for a walk real quick. It's just primer, but, hey, it's something to work with. So now my next step is I'll come back and I'll sand everything quickly with 220 grit and then I'll sand with 320 grit and then I'm even going to jump into 400 grit. So, you know, I'm, I'm extremely satisfied with it. This thing is going to be short, jet black. So anyhow... I was going to try to do this whole video series and carry it all the way through to painting the boat black, but this video is already taking too much time. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here and pick back up with y'all once I get into the prep work. So I'm not sure if this video helped any of y'all out. I hope it did. And for those of you that watched it, I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't share with your friends that would be awesome and yeah i'll see y'all on the next one all right